Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chan from Malaysia. Today, I would like to share with you our experience on 30 meter high geogrid reinforced soil embankment at Pamboneo Highway Sarawak of Malaysia. Pamboneo Highway Sarawak Sabah is a road network connecting two Malaysian states with a stretch of toll free road for a length of approximately 2,083 kilometers. In year 2015, our government launched the phase one of Pamboneo Highway starts from the southernmost city, Teluk Maneno, and end in Miri City. The coming phases should connect towards Pamboneo Highway Sabah at the later stage. The part of the Pamboneo Highway that are involved is located approximately in the red circle of this map, a road embankment at Bukit Sabangkoi of Sarawak. The initial design was a 1 to 1.2 or 40 degree rock field embankment. A 3 meter gabion was proposed at the toe of the slope as protection as well as confining the rock stone at the toe. The maximum height of the road embankment is around 30 meter based on the feedback from the contractor. The nearest source of the rock quarry is located approximately 200 kilometers away from the site. The rock field embankment was proposed for a length of 700 meters, ranging from Chenich 31800 to Chenich 32500 at both sides of the road embankment. As the source of rock is far away from site, the design with rock field embankment was costly and impractical. An alternative design using geogrid reinforced soil concept was proposed for the deeper section. A total six slopes with total height of 30 meter was proposed. By using geogrid reinforced soil concept, the slope embankment can further steepen to one to one or 45 degree of slope phase angle. A series of different grade punch and stretch HDPE geogrids was designed at different slope levels. The geogrid length varies from 8 meters to 24 meters. The geogrid was designed to stop at slope phase and finish with coast surfing. For the purpose of cost optimization, the other side of the road amendment was designed as a 1 to 1, 1 to 2 unreinforced slope. For the same extent of 700 meters, there was a saving approximately 30% in cost and time of construction. Apart from upgrading the road to fall in two ways, it was also an objective to smoothen the gradient of the road profile to 7.9% that connecting the lower level to higher level of the road embankment. Design analysis was carried out to check the slip circles for both local stability and global stability. As required by our public works department, the minimum factor of safety shall be 1.5. The right hand side of this photo shows the existing road before upgrading, while the left hand side shows the condition of the site clearance. As we can see from the photo, the existing road is generally at the lower level at Chenich 32500, which is at this point and the road level ascend quickly when it near Chenich 31800. McIntosh prop was carried out at every 25 meter along the geogrid reinforced soil embankment to determine the ground condition. Removal and replacement with sand was carried out for the area where the weak soil was detected. The following diagrams illustrate to us sequence of construction for geogrid reinforced soil embankment. First of all, Prepare the ground to the required level to receive the GIS embankment. Lay a layer of non-woven geotextile followed by a layer of HDPE geogrid on top of it. A layer of rock and sand banker was laid to the required thickness and compact. Lay the geogrid layer by layer and temporarily fold them following with the rock toe construction until it is fully constructed to the top. Unfold the geogrid. 
and compact the sand layer at the specific level above it. A layer of um, non woven geodexal was laid as a separator between the sand field and the earth field. The laying of geogrid and compaction of suitable earth field was carried out until it reached the specific level for slope phase trimming and closed earthing. Both surface drainage system such as berm drain, cascade drain, toll drain, and subsoil drainage system with sand drainage layer will detail for the construction of GRS embankment. A bigger rock toll of 2 meter high was proposed at the bottom most of the slope, followed by a smaller rock toll of 0 0.6 meter high at each of the following slope on top of it. The diagram on the right shows the rock toll detail at different height. The size of the rock shall be 150 mm times 250 mm. A seepage analysis was carried out to study the effectiveness of sand blankets from different sources of uh, for as a drainage layers. From the analysis, it is confirmed that wash sand was the most suitable to be used as material for drainage layers. This photo shows the rock toll construction after base was prepared. As mentioned in the sequence of construction earlier, the rock is installed to the required level followed by laying of the geogrids. The rocks on the slope face shall be arranged in such a way that they interlock each other well. The construction of the geogrid soil reinforced soil embankment was well planned by the contractor to allow the works to be carried out concurrently for filling works and laying of the geogrids in the longer extent. The geogrid that were designed in layers in the slope require the contractor to carry out the compaction layer by layer. You may see that a worker was working on to remove the slack of the late geogrid and the other worker installed a small pack at the tail of the geogrid to pretension and hold the geogrid in position. It's a good urban practice to excavate the existing slope in benching prior the backfilling works. This will ensure the compacted earth keys well onto the existing slope. As for the slope phase, the earth shall be filled and compact beyond its required slope profile. Upon the compaction reach the specific level, it should be trimmed back to the design slope profile and this good earthwork practice ensure the slope phase achieve the competent compaction. An excavator was trimming the compacted slope at the specific level as mentioned in the previous slide. After trimming works were done, the installation work, the installation of closed loping was carried out to prevent erosion during the rain, especially in Bukit Sabangkoi, where the rainfall intensity is high. Subsequently, service drainage system like berm drain and cascaded drain were constructed in conjunction with the installation of the rock toe above it. A well turf slope on site can reduce the maintenance required during the construction works. After months of construction, the geogrid reinforced soil embankment had finally reached its finished level. Clearing works were required to be carried out by the worker, especially along the surface drainage system to ensure they function well. As mentioned earlier, the rainfall intensity in Bukit Samangkoi was high. The management of surface runoff through the temporary drainage was important during the construction works. One of the lessons learned where the erosion occurred on some localized spot of the completed unpaved road shoulder during heavy downpours and maintenance work was required. An effective way to overcome this problem was installing closed turfing on the unpaved road shoulder. The, this mitigation plan effectively prevented erosion on the GIS slope. This is indeed significant lesson 
for tropical country like Malaysia. This photo shows the completion of GIS embankment from the view taken at Chinese 32500 and Chinese 31800. The vegetation on the slope were well grown. From this drawn photo, the road above the GIS environment was open for traffic while the construction of one to two unreinforced loop was in progress and partially covered the existing road below it. It will be soon completion for four lanes, two ways road embankment in Bukit Sabangkoi. In conclusion, conventionally slope embankment is built with a gentle slope angle on the condition that space is not a constraint. Where there is a space constraint, the geogrid reinforced soil embankment system enables steeper slope to be constructed with suitable sidewall material. Efforts for detailing in subsoil drainage, such as sand drainage layers, rock tow, and surface drainage system is important. A good earthwork construction practice is always the key to construct a competent and stable slope. Close surfing on the completed slope face and unpaved road shoulder progressively has successfully reduced erosion during the heavy downpours. Geogrid reinforced soil embankment is cost effective in providing engineered solutions and practicality during the construction. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.